Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I was feel, really feeling drawn to do your reading for today. I don't usually do Sag readings on Fridays, but I was feeling really drawn to do it today. So here we are. I hope everyone is doing great. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. So this will not resonate with every Sagittarius and it will not resonate with every Sagittarius cross -watch. So please take it resonates and leave the rest. Please take a moment to also read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I am not offering personal readings at this time, but don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. Sad. What does my Sag Collective need to know at this time? Message for the Sag Collective. Message for the Sag Collective. What do they need to know at this time, Spirit? Two of Wands. The Hierophant. The Fool, The Empress, Page of Cups, Seven of Cups, Temperance, and The Empress, and sorry, I don't know why I meant to say, and The Ten of Cups. Mm. So somebody is trying to decide whether or not they want to come in and try to apologize to you and in initiate some type of new emotional beginning with you or offer something to you. But I'm just going to say it, guys. I don't feel like it's a lot that they're even offering you. Um, signs you could possibly be dealing with. We have Taurus energy. We have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, heavy Pisces. We have um, Aquarius energy. We have Sag coming through and we have Taurus. We have heavy Taurus here, too. Um, or you guys may be moving away from one situation and moving towards manifesting a new emotional beginning with someone else. The Hierophant. Somebody's confused on whether or not they want a commitment or they want something stable or solid. Or they may be confused on if that's something that you want. Somebody may not know if they want marriage or something stable, committed. But somebody is about to take a leap of faith here. Bless you, dear. Someone's about to take a leap of faith here. I feel like there's maybe two energies coming through here. I don't know. But I do definitely see that somebody is about to take a leap of faith. Somebody may be confused on whether or not you are in a relationship or not. And that's why they don't know if they should come in and try to apologize and try to initiate this with you. But I see that they're going to do it anyways. They're going to take a leap of faith and try to reconcile with you. Balance things out. They view you as the empress, so like their divine counterpart. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, masculine, feminine. It, they view you as their emperor or their empress, okay? And they, this person feels like with you, they could, you make this person very happy or they feel like with you, you guys could be happy together, build, have a family, have um, a harm, harmonious partnership, happy home. But we have the high priestess and the emperor in reverse. It's like you guys are in your your divine energy, but it's like you guys need to listen to your energy, your energy, listen to your <laughs> intuition. Yeah, energy, I guess, um, because this person that's coming towards you is not in their divine energy. Um, the moon with the moon and the high priestess, this person could be hiding something as well. The world in reverse. Hmm. I just see that they do want to resolve things with you, but I still see that this person, I don't see them making a solid investment here or being able to do that. I feel like they're still maybe releasing something from their past or they're maybe going through some type of situation that they could be going through something from their childhood, like that's still rippling into their adulthood. Um, or they have something going on with their children. Hmm. And it doesn't look like they're putting much effort into maybe resolving something else in their life or closing something else out in their life that's toxic here. Capricorn energy, Virgo energy. Hmm. All right, guys, let's get some more clarity.
Spirit. Tell me about the Two of Wands. What's the Two of Wands mean? So yeah, somebody's thinking about the future. Somebody's thinking about what they want for the future or what they want their future to look like. What's this mean for my sad viewers? They want to come in and make some type of romantic gesture or offer to you in the future. Love me. This is mean for my um, sad viewers. Yeah, it's like this person is envisioning a life with you, a happy life with you. This person's yearning for your love and affection is what I'm seeing here. They want your love. This person has a lot of love for you. I'm addicted to you. This person had some type of unhealthy attachment to you or to something else. Yeah, it's like before it was like this person was more like it was more lust with this person. But now it's changing. This person's like the feelings that you had for this person. It's, it's mutual now. It's like this person had like a more of an attachment to you. Some type of unhealthy dynamic that you guys had. They're getting out of that. And it's like now the feelings are becoming mutual. Tell me about the page of cups reach out i told you this person's gonna reach out and apologize express some type of emotion <laughs> definitely spirit wants you to know this person is definitely going to reach out and try to initiate some type of new emotional beginning with you and apologize open up communicate or try to open up communication they were listening to the wrong people or they just were not seeing things clearly but now they're not they're i feel like they're maybe listening to their int intuition now doing what they feel is right the hierophant yeah, this person's like, you guys may have wanted this person to commit to you and maybe in the past they wouldn't, but now this person's saying, I would do anything for you. Yeah, so they're going to come in and offer you that commitment. Oh, what is this about? What's this? I think we should see other people for my sad viewers. Please give me time. I've never felt this way before. This person may be like, they did understand that you they had intense feelings for you, but they didn't know if they were ready to settle down with just one person. I told you, somebody was confused on whether or not they wanted to be in a committed relationship time to ground yourselves so you have so many choices somebody like you can't you can't continue to live this life where you're entertaining 50 million different people and keeping all keeping your options open i feel like they're getting to the point where that that has is catching up to them yeah and it's like now they're wanting something more stable something more consistent something less stressful you know what i mean um seven of cups there is someone else yeah they had options what's this mean for my sad viewers I still don't have all the answers. They didn't know if they wanted you or these other options or this other option. Take it how it resonates. They didn't know what was best or what was what they wanted. But yeah, this person's realizing this says you are my everything. None of these other options compare to you. I just want you all the time. Very much yearning for you. Very much focused on you. The fool. I want a fresh start. Okay, that's two, that's two fool cards right there. They're going to take a leap of faith and try to initiate this new beginning or this fresh start with the two with between the two of you. Let me have you. This person's hoping that you will be open and receptive to this. I feel like this person's also missing missing the intimacy between the two of you. If that's something that you guys have done. If it's not that they're just missing your energy, they're missing your love like I already said. I am too afraid to talk to you. Yeah, this person's afraid to speak to you at this time. Why are they afraid? I know you just because there's been so much time that has passed or you guys have really distanced yourself from this person. So they don't really know where um, you two stand. Temperance. Maybe. The, yeah, they have been 100% made a final decision that they want to come in and try to do this reconciliation. They're taking their time and making this decision. But this person feels very tempted. They're definitely leaning towards coming in with this communication. If I, if this person's just not sure that you, they're, they're afraid of rejection in a nutshell. This person's afraid that you will, you will reject them. The Empress, yeah, they've gained clarity that they feel like you are their divine counterpart, that you are their person, and they were only able to discover this by spending, you you know, you and this person having some distance or them, you guys spending some time alone. They probably had to go into hermit mode, do some introspection. Tell me more about this. No. What about no? You are very, you are so very special. 
and um i left because you told me to so you guys maybe told this person to stay away from you but they're saying that they're not going to do that <laughs> okay you guys have to tell this person to stay away from you but i don't see that this person is going to do this because you're so important to them they just don't feel like they can stay away from you yeah it's like this person has been reluctant to take this leap of faith because this person knows that if they come towards you and offer you something stable and committed that they're gonna have to sacrifice something else or they're gonna lose something else but this person knows that you're no longer waiting on them and they know that they are in love with you so this person's making taking decisive action here in the future they, it says i need more time in reverse yeah they're not gonna wait any longer they've already waited long enough and possibly missed out on you ten of cups Look at this. Something about the passion between the two of you. Um, guys, I feel like this person wants to have a baby. For those of you that are in that portion of your life, this person wants to impregnate you. Um, for others of you, um, this person just misses the intimacy, the passion, missing you heavily. They don't know what you want now. There's been so much time or distance between the two of you now. Silence that this person doesn't know what you want now. But this person's heart is leading them to you, so they're listening to that. Bless you, baby. Wait. I'm obsessed with you. Don't, if you guys do go take this person back or entertain them, Spirit says, do not rush towards intimacy with this person. Or maybe the timing was off for you and this person before, but it does look like things are aligning better now. How are my Sages going to feel about this person coming back? Do you even care? You guys don't believe that this person cares about you. You're going to be like very skeptical of them. You guys do desire to have a family with this person. But you want this person to make a decision about something? I'm a jealous person. So you may know that they have somebody else or that they entertain other people. And you're wanting this person to make a decision. But yeah, you guys are in love with this person. There, You guys still have love for them. You were very hurt by something that this person said or did. But I feel like you guys are maybe have since forgiving that or releasing that healing from that so ultimately strength yeah i feel like you guys are just trying to like they are waiting for you they're trying to they're not dating anybody else right now they're not moving on from you this person is just trying to work up the strength and the courage to come towards you and they're gonna be forced to do that soon because i feel like you guys are possibly moving on from this person be more selfish it's like they need to maybe they're not coming towards you also because they're afraid of how what, what what coming towards you will how other people will react to that or what other people will think like th maybe they know that you guys coming together is maybe going to make some people not happy or something along those lines like somebody needs to be me more worried about what's best for them than what's best for the, the other people around them what do you want spirit says you guys need to do what's best for you as well with this be more selfish and what do you want you guys really need to take some time to decide if this is what you want. Do you really want to be with this person? Can you trust them? Are you going to be happy in this situation? What is best for you? Don't, you know, this person may be coming in and trying to win you back. And you guys don't, don't entertain this person just because you, you know, you don't want to hurt this person's feelings or whatever. You need to be also considerate of yourself and what's good for you. All right. So... This is what I have for you guys. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. I'm not offering personal readings at this time, but don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.